Victor, your best three finishes on the European Tour this year have come in Rolex Series events. What makes them stand out from the other events? How special are they? Yeah, obviously, I think we're very fortunate as players to have, you know, Rolex is such a great ambassador for the European Tour. They've been there, you know, for years, and I think we're very fortunate for their support. I think, uh, you know, they're, they're great events with great fields. Obviously, the prize money is appealing for all players, um, and, and just a lot of points as a whole, which which can lead to, to putting you in, in a great chance of, uh, of great performance, great results, and, and obviously the goal to win the race to Dubai. You finished second three times in Rolex Series events, so you've come very close. How much do you want one of those on your CV? Yeah, obviously they're, they're as big as it gets on the European Tour. I was really close in Abu Dhabi, even though it was a bit more of a, you know, coming from, from behind the pack, and, and obviously uh, with Lee winning that tournament. And then obviously in Wentworth was a lot closer with Terrell, where I was in there with about six, seven holes to play and, and just didn't quite close it up. And again, congrats to Terrell for, for closing up the tournament and, and playing great golf coming down the stretch. You come into this week ranked sixth in the race to Dubai, so an excellent chance of potentially topping it at the end of the year. No Frenchman has ever won the race to Dubai. How proud would you be to be the first uh, to be crowned Europeans number one? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's one of those things. It's one of those goals that you set at the start of the year. Obviously, I was well aware that things needed to happen. You need to play well in the right weeks, and it's a combination. And it's been a, a crazy year. It's, I think everybody would would argue that one. And uh, but yeah, it would be very special. I think for French golf, and 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 it hopefully open the door for for many more to come. Victor, your best three finishes on the European Tour have come in Rolex Series events. Just describe for our viewers how special those tournaments are. They must feel different to the rank and file event from the European Tour. Oui, forcément, voilà, on, est, on a beaucoup de chance en tant que joueur d'avoir uh, Rolex comme partenaire de l'European Tour depuis déjà beaucoup d'années. 
et, et, et ils, ont, voilà, ils, ils permettent de, de, de créer ces, ces grands événements de, de golf, ces grands tournois que forcément les meilleurs joueurs euh, d'Europe et du monde viennent et, et essayent de gagner. Et, voilà, j'ai eu de la chance euh, cette année de, de bien me préparer pour ces tournois et de bien performer. Et, et j'espère que ça va continuer pour la suite. You finished second three times in the Rolex Series. How much do you want one of those on your CV? Oui, c'est vrai que voilà, trois, trois fois deuxième entre la fin de l'année dernière et, et deux fois cette année, c'est vraiment des tournois où je suis passé très près trois fois et c'est vrai que ça serait forcément euh, voilà, ex excellent de, de finir l'année comme ça à Dubaï avec une victoire euh, sur le, le dernier tour de l'année pour, euh, je l'espère, gagner la race. You come into the week ranked sixth in the race to Dubai. No Frenchman has ever won it. How proud would you be to be the first to be crowned Europe's number one player? Euh, ben voilà, c'est vrai que gagner la, la race to Dubaï n'a jamais été fait encore par un, un joueur français. J'espère que ça, ça ouvrirait la porte pour, euh, pour beaucoup de, de joueurs français après. Voilà, il reste encore euh, un grand tournoi à jouer, un grand tournoi à, à performer. Quatre jours de, de golf avec un, un très beau champ de joueurs. Mais ça serait forcément euh, un très, très gros objectif euh, atteint pour cette année 2020.